morning everyone and welcome back to the Run Planner vlog where we discuss all things entrepreneurship and running it is a, uh, a warmer morning this morning, it's about 10, 10 degrees which is rare, it's the first time it's been warmer in feels like months um, but it is very windy and I think it is just about to start absolutely hammering it down but hopefully at the moment it's uh, okay running conditions and it's uh, it's Tuesday tactics today where we discuss all things business systems outsourcing kind of things that you can kind of implement into your into your, your daily businesses and today's topic is about finding mentorship and guidance and uh, someone you can bounce ideas off and this was asked by one of the entrepreneur community members Alex Hart so as always if you like this episode please give it a like and a subscribe and let's get started so finding the right mentor and the right guidance and, uh, and somebody who you can bounce ideas off okay so this is a an interesting topic um, while I've got a fair amount of experience on from both sides really um, I've uh, well first and foremost there's two types of, of, of mentorship and guidance ultimately <laughs> and, and the third one kind of can kind of be included as well um, in terms of finding people to bounce ideas off um, there's, there's two types really there's the, there's the ones that you can pay for and ones that are for free and uh, you know it's easy to say oh you always get better when you pay for it um, which is which is because that's what they do for a living it's easy to say that but not often always the case um, and you can also get some extremely good free mentorship and guidance and, uh, and kind of help to bounce ideas off of um, without having to pay money but I think it, it comes down to the fact of, of due diligence and uh, asking the right questions um, which will determine whether you'll, you'll get you know, the best return on your time invested in this. I'm not going to use money as an example, but if you want some mentorship and guidance, you're going to, you have to you know, invest, at the worst case, you have to invest your time. And what you want is you want to get ultimately the best amount of information for the least amount of, of, of money. And you don't mind them putting the time into something where you're getting that value. So rather than comparing the two when you're talking about money, because it's, it's, a, it's, a, it's a lot easier just saying, oh, the free ones are better which isn't always the case. Now, my experience in this is that I've paid a lot of money out over the years. I think, I think I've paid maybe between 40 and 50,000 pounds out on education um, over the last seven years or so. So I constantly reinvest in my education and my training. Um, I have a mentor who I have a lifetime member mentorship with and I had to pay, I think 12,000 pounds for that. And it's not even, it's, it's phone mentorship. So basically troubleshooting whenever I need it. Um, but my mentor, Rob Moore, is somebody who I've followed in property, I've followed from the very beginning. And obviously if you look at his journey now, multi-millionaire, multi-multi-millionaire, a uh, huge podcast, huge marketeer, um, has businesses across multiple industries. He's a, he's a very, very seasoned guy and he's certainly, several rungs up the ladder further along than me so it is useful having that and it's been super cool he was the one who actually set me this challenge of of uh, creating content every day for a year now i, I can combine it with running which is probably a bit silly but uh, he set me the challenge to create valuable content each day every year for a whole year at least and let's see how it goes so uh yeah he's been super useful let me just get past this person for a second morning so I've paid a considerable amount of money for that. Uh, I think it was twelve thousand um, pounds for that facility, but absolutely, it's been worth it. And uh, you know, it's quite quite rare to say it really when you think you've paid that much money. But I've, uh, there's always times where you just need someone to bounce an idea off or talk to someone about. However, there are also lots of people that I've had advice and guidance with over the course of time where I've had it for free. There's no charge attached to it and it's also been super, super useful. And uh, I think the point I'm trying to make here is that, is that it's easy to say, I'll just go and find a, a, you know, a, a mentor with, with the right skill set and the right background, do do dents on them, 
pay for their mentorship. It's easy to say that, but I've paid money out for mentorship programs that have been, you know, that have been farcical, if I'm being brutally honest with you. Uh, we've paid thousands of pounds and learned literally nothing. So you can lose money and, uh, you know, and you can pay a lot of money and get really good value. You can pay a lot of money and get no value. You can pay less money and get a lot of money value. You can pay less money and get no value. And you can get huge value for free, or you can waste your time searching for free advice. So there's kind of all the different kind of options you, you have there. But I've also been a mentor myself. I did it when I was working within systems and outsourcing. I think at a point I was mentoring about 150 people. Um, we weren't the most expensive, but we were, certainly weren't the cheapest. People were generally paying 300, 295 pounds plus that per month uh, on a continual basis to be mentored by me. So uh, certainly not, certainly not cheap. Morning. So it was it was somewhere in the region between four and five, four and five grand a uh, a year. And um, it's it was uh, and that, sorry there was there was also a. a an upfront fee as well before they started the monthly repayments and um and i like to think that i gave a lot of people a lot of, a lot of good value and i think on the whole i did and uh you know but i i know how hard it was to be a good a good mentor and you know even then there'll be some of the people i coached that would speak very highly of me i'm sure most of them would speak highly because i have a very good relationship with pretty much all of them but some of them would say would question the value that i was giving and um, that's just the nature of the beast when you put yourself out there as a, as a mentor. But um, I was, you know, my values, I hate the thought of anybody not getting what, getting good value. Value is one of my favourite words uh, to my wife's horror. But, um, so I, I would go out of my way, I would end up doing stuff for some of the mentees to try and kickstart them to kind of making a serious difference, um, which isn't always the right way. And ultimately I was mixing up people who were procrastinating and I was trying to overcome them and give them value by actually doing the work but as a mentor it's not scalable to do that so um so the answer to the equation I've been a mentor I've been, I've been a mentor and I've been mentored I've had I've given people advice for free I've given people advice and, and mentorship for, for a fee and I've received it so I've been on kind of all angles to this and ultimately personality comes into it as well you need to be able to get along with whoever you're building this relationship with and you need, you need to understand it's a, it's a two-way street it needs to be a win-win scenario if if the normally it's quite easy if you're paying for a mentorship service and you get along you know that they're getting out of it is a fee you're getting out of it is yeah information education implementation of that information and and uh, possibly some form of transformation at the end of it as well so you can see what the win-win is there but um if you're going for someone for free you know, what is the what are they getting out of it now there are a lot of people that will give value for free i mean the, you know there are a lot of people out there but there's normally an underlying reason it's very very seldom that that you'll get someone to just give something away for free for absolutely nothing um or you know even that that something might be that their mission is to help as many people in this sector as possible and if that is their mission and it's it's very much a, a kind of charitable thing they're doing and it's building their kind of following side of things then um then at least you understand that and you can see well actually you know this guy's giving me help i can push them out to my network a little bit more and and, and tell people what they do you know at least you're kind of generating a win-win scenario that's the same with any relationship really what do they want what do you want are they getting what they want from it are you getting what you want from it if the answer is yes brilliant the relationship will grow will flourish if one person's getting what they want and the other person isn't then it will uh, inevitably fail so understanding that i think personality type comes a lot into this we're all different we're all unique and we need to be mixing and interacting with people that are compatible with us and if they're not compatible that's not a problem it's um you know that's life the people that will love the stuff i do the people that hate it and that's just that's just people's personality types and how they can pick up you know how compatible they are with mine and uh that's really fine if you don't get along with someone not a problem you don't have to engage and work with them you know it's as simple as that but what i'm trying to say is that 
make sure that compatibility is there as well. So what would I recommend if I was, well it would depend on where I was and at what stage of my business um, and it would depend on the due diligence I've done. For starters I would do, I would do both. If I needed some mentorship and guidance and ultimately someone to bounce all my ideas off through, I'd want someone who is one or two rungs up the ladder uh, than me. So how far ahead are they? than me. Anybody that's too far ahead, I mean Rob Moore is on the cusp of being too far ahead for me. I mean okay but I do have a, a fairly successful property business and I have multiple businesses I'm not turning over anything near what he does. So it could be unfair to say um, <laughs> that he's too wrong there. It's probably significantly more. Um, but he's close enough based on he's been in pretty much every industry that I'm in to just <laughs> hang on to his coattails some degree um, but I'm talking you know paying crazy money up for you you know for the next level up like Tony Robbins you know Richard uh, Russell Brunson you know they're they're, they're, a, they're a level down from you like your Sir Alan Sugars and uh, Richard Branson's and you know you can you, it's really difficult to put people in order of course it is but there's no point being mentored or having guidance from someone who's too far ahead because their ways and means of dealing with stuff is linked to the infrastructure they have around them. Like uh, Sir Richard Branson, the prime example, if, uh, if he wanted to pursue a new opportunity, his, one of his famous quotes is, if an opportunity presents itself, just say yes, and uh, you know, worry about the rest later. Well, that's all right if you've got <laughs> hundreds of thousands of people around you uh, that you can just put a team together to kind of evolve that opportunity, um, that's fine. If you're a one-man band who's completely stressed, overwhelmed, and anxious about his future, taking on another opportunity is the, the worst bit of advice for that individual. But that's only because they're at a different level. Whereas if somebody who was, you know, had 50, 50 people around them, whatever, in the business, that advice from Richard Branson is probably very useful. So that's just an example of what I'm giving. So I would do my research on who are the key players in the industries that I operate in, um, how far ahead are they of you, and what they like. If you're doing due diligence, if they're, it's highly likely they're going to be fairly active on, on your social platforms and marketing side of things. So you should be able to find them relatively easy. If you can't find them, you know, in a world where marketing is probably the most important thing in business. So if they're not marketing very effectively, why do you want to be uh, getting a mentor and guidance from them? So that's probably a really good way of doing your due diligence. Uh, it's a bit breezy now, so apologies if the wind is kicking up. So that's... Uh, one way of, of looking at it. Um, but ultimately, when you find them, spend some time watching their content. Is that somebody who you think you'd get along with? Are they someone who's got some quirky ways that are going to annoy you or great on you after a while? If that's the case, park them to one side and find somebody else. If there's somebody who thinks, you know what, I like that guy's morals and ethics, or that, that lady's morals and ethics, I could work with them, then you can, you can approach them and have a... Most of them will do like a free scheduling call or free strategy call to give you some value but also to check compatibility levels and most of them are doing it from their perspective too as well. If you go too high up the ladder you'll get middle kind of middle men who will be doing those calls for them <laughs> which again isn't that helpful because you want to be speaking with the individual themselves who you're going to be mentored from so that's another one to watch out for but at the same time you're doing this to try and find someone and when you do get that right person then you believe that they're going to be the one to help you. Put aside a budget. Most people charge you on a retainer for mentorship. Put aside a budget and say, right, I'm going to give myself three, three to six months is probably enough to know. And put that money aside and invest it. And say, you know what, this is just like an investment. I'm investing in my future. If this goes really well, it's going to exponentially move me along to my, my goal a lot quicker. It's completely worthwhile. If it doesn't go well, I've invested something into investment that hasn't worked and you almost have to be prepared to write it off. Okay, so that's how you want to approach this and if it works really well, you just renew and keep going until you get to the stage where you feel that you've been taken as far along that journey as you possibly can with that mentor or coach. Um, but simultaneously, <laughs> I'd also be finding where my kind of target audience is or target market or more people like me hang out. Okay, so I like to think that I'm pretty entrepreneurial, so I'll be finding lots of kind of Facebook community groups of entrepreneurs, 
and I'll be asking questions about topics that I need help with but I'd also be asking for their steer on good mentors and coaches because word of mouth is often the, the best way of getting a referral because it's like a review rather than reading kind of sales material about what someone can give you speak to someone who's had that mentorship and, and just say look we really appreciate your, your recommendation can I jump on a quick call just to just to ask you a few questions before I invest nine times out of ten people be prepared to do that additionally ask questions in, in groups of entrepreneurs in similar industries to you about stuff that you're going, going on in your life and don't be too proud just put it out there and trust the process because you'll be amazed how many people will be offering help and uh, the idea behind this is that you will come across people that offer help over and over again and they are just people who want to help people and if there's somebody who resonates with your values and beliefs you know they may even offer you a quick call anyway so jump on it and you might find that there's people out there you can get everything you need for free rather than uh, paying money now all i would say is if you are getting something for free it should never be for free there's always a, a, a you want to try and create a win-win environment so if that person is giving you advice help and advice for free ask a bit more about them what are they doing what do they want and then you help them any way you can as a as a as a favor and that's how relationships are built it's helping people it's like the the joy of christmas is about giving not receiving and, and that and that side of thing if you, if you go into it that mindset that i need some help however if i can help anybody or help you in any way you know and i'm still a believer in karma if you help someone it's highly likely you're going to get helped back by somebody else perhaps somewhere down the line so um, i think that's a good way to be so that's my kind of long waffly answer to this topic but hopefully i've given some good advice here that you can pay a lot of money and get great mentorship you can pay a lot of money and get let low you know low value mentorship you can pay a little money and get really good value or you can pay a little money and get no value or you can get free advice and get huge value or you can get free advice and just waste your time so they're the kind of higher different ways you can kind of go about different kind of categories of of where this mentor or guidance or someone to bounce ideas is going to fall within and um the key is, is making sure you get the ones on the, the high value side and uh it should all be relative so if you if you're getting really good value super super high value and you have to pay quite a lot of money for it then it's worth it um so i'm sure you realize that as well um just getting past these people so hopefully that's a good summary and uh hopefully that's going to help you alex and uh that's pretty much it for me today oh yeah so as always um if you like this episode please give it a like and a subscribe um if this is irrelevant to you please uh just unfollow me you don't have to unfriend me unfollowing me will stop me cluttering up your personal social feeds um but before you do so just make sure you check out the youtube rumpreneur channel um pure and simply because i cover a different topic on every day of the week so just because today's topic may be irrelevant there could be other days that are super relevant so check it out and it's all catalogued nice and neatly by playlist so it should be easy to navigate yourself around also check out the rumpreneur facebook community group where i'm hosting all my free resources that accompany this vlog uh, the first one being my 70 step process to repurposing reformatting and optimizing your content across all social platforms so if uh, if uh, increasing your marketing activity and getting your content out there is a big focus for 2021 check out um, that checklist it will show you exactly what i do with my vlog every single day to get out there on all platforms in unique format so um all that's left to say is that the Rumpner vlog was set up to help business owners, entrepreneurs overcome the emotions of stress. Now stress, if it's, if it's not managed, leads to overwhelm. And if overwhelm gets out of control, it leads to anxiety, which is where people start having mental breakdowns and mental health related challenges. And, uh, you know, I, I about through helping people through a release mechanism and uh, or release valve you have to relieve these pressures to be able to control them and uh, i do it through exercise or in my case running and it's been life-changing for me um, and it's often the difference between 
people who are successful and the people who fail is how well they manage these emotions because every single one of us, whether entrepreneur, business owner, or just, you know, someone in a day-to-day life experiences these emotions and the ones that manage them more effectively and relieve that pressure on a regular basis are the ones that keep clarity and focus and then thrive and go on to bigger and better things. The ones that don't, one of two things normally happens is the pressure builds and builds and builds and builds and builds. It's like pressure in a pipe, inevitably it's going to burst and one of two things happens. It's the entrepreneur has a breakdown or the business breaks down and either or it's often terminal to the likelihood of your business life in the test of time. Now, I've been there, I've lost multiple businesses because of this, I've lost multiple business partners because of this, and I've almost been bankrupt because of this. And it's a, it's a horrible place to be. And uh, I was the one who buried my head in the sand with kind of entrepreneurial pride, which kind of compounded how bad it got. And uh, my pledge to everybody today is that, you know, if you are one of these people, just drop me a message, okay? There's no, there's no, what are you? There's no catch here whatsoever. Okay, I'm not selling anything whatsoever. I just want to give you a helping hand. Because I've been there, I've experienced it, and I've found a way to deal with it. And if I can help you do the same, and save just one entrepreneur, one business, then this vlog has been a million percent worthwhile. So, that's pretty much it for me today. Don't be stubborn. If you need help, just reach out. Oh yeah. All right. So, uh, all stuff to say is if you like this episode, please give it a like and a subscribe. If you want to see more similar content, check out the playlist link below. And all that's left to say is stay positive, stay happy, and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.